Welcome to class, a 15 minute practice to release tension in our spine outside of the studio and or my home and head into the bush behind my house and just be with nature, it's a lovely sunny day, no wind and we've just recently gone into some new COVID restrictions in Auckland, New Zealand so my classes have been cancelled for this week, so instead of having a very un yoga like tantrum, I've come out into nature and just chill out and let the tension I felt was building up on my spine release. So join me at the back end of your mat kneeling position, palms resting on your knees and breathe into a tall straight spine. Settling with your breath. And shortly we're going to allow the shoulders just to fall a little further away from the ears. Bring your palms to the center of the chest. Thumbs drawing inwards to your breastbone and bow your head forward and down. A little gentle stretch across the back of the neck. Lifting the chin back level. Raising the tips of your first fingers to the space between your eyebrows, our man's eye. The arms fall by the sides of the body and we sweep overhead, palms sitting together as we inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Repeating that sequence three times. Inhale, breath as we reach high for the sky. Exhale as we lower. Inhaling. Exhale. Arms fall by the sides of the hips, loop your shoulders down and back, interlacing the fingers behind you. Place the knuckles down in front of your toes and open your heart forward, lifting your chin. Keeping your fingertips interlaced, separate them and let them fall by the sides, palms facing up. Head to the mat, child's pose. The weight of the arms falling towards the earth and openness through your shoulders. Peel your rib cage away from the thighs, sitting tall once again. Reset interlaced fingers behind your toes. Lift your heart, lift your chest. Folding forward and down this time, keeping the fingertips interlaced right that time. Lift the arms right above the shoulder line. Push your knuckles to the sky. Hold and breathe. Lifting, falling with the arms. Place your palms around your heels. Straighten out your arms, drawing into rabbit pose. So we come up onto the crown of the head. Around us in our back. Beautiful stretch through the spine and the shoulders. Even our arms. Let the heels and the hips connect as the arms settle by the sides once again. Palms facing up. Child's pose. Draw to seated, Varasana, sweeping the arms overhead as we inhale, exhaling. Sweeping the arms up overhead, this time turn your palms to face forward, folding forward and down, arms reaching out long to the top short edge of the mat. Rib cage to the thighs, forehead towards the mat, or perhaps even settling to the mat. Keep a stretch active through your palms and round your spine, and then lift your chest and your chin. Push the mat away around the spine again, tuck under the tailbone and your chin. Lift your heart, lift your chest, belly button lowering to the earth. Again we round, so feel your spine moving in those two different points of flexion arching and then bowing forward and down. Bring yourself back to a set position and draw your left shoulder towards your left hip. Travel across to the opposite side. Coming back over, left shoulder, left hip, shortening the left side as we open through the right. A cat wagging its tail or a dog I suppose wagging its tail. Coming back to the center curl underneath your toes. Push through your palms, hips to the heels. Feel a stretch in the arches of your feet. 
Really push the palms away from your knees, stretch, elongate, tailbone, spine, shoulders. Float the knees away from the mat, send the heels low, downward facing dog. Taking our dog for a walk and I want you to get really loose through the hips. So allow one knee to really rock forward and across the opposite leg. A rolling from side to side in the hips and an even a roll through your shoulders. Coming back down to even heels. Walk your hands all the way in towards your ten toes. Once there, keep folded in half and interlace your fingertips behind the nape of your neck, elbows wide. It's not a tug forward and down on our neck and our spine, but that placement of the hands allows us a little bit of weight. Bend your knees slightly and settle the ribcage to the thighs, and then straighten out the legs and try to keep that spine a little lower. Hold and breathe. Fingertips fall to the mat. Hands to the shins, halfway lift. Elongate your spine. Exhale as you fold. Walk your hands all the way forward and out, resetting our downward facing dog. Walk the tips of your big toes together. And float your left leg high to the sky, three legged dog. Take a bend in that knee. Open out that hip like you're taking a big yawn through your hips. Now start to circle out forward and back through your left knee. Imagine that you're making a circle with that kneecap. Wide circles or small circles. Lengthen out that leg, three-legged dog. Sweep left foot through to the inside of your hands. Bridge to the fingertips before you reach the arms up overhead, high lunge. Left knee over the ankle. Shoulders over the hips. Setting the palms together, interlacing the fingers apart from your first two, and we bring the fingertips to the forehead, reach high to the sky. Inhale and exhale, and next inhalation, straighten out both the legs. Exhale as you lower, bending both knees. We lift and straighten. Exhale as we lower, right knee stays under the right hip, left knee over the ankle. Once more, this time as we exhale, we hold and hover that right knee just above the mat and now pulse. Holding again, lowering that back knee to the mat, flatten the top of the foot down. Sweep your fingertips back for the wall behind you. A nice gentle back bend. Bring your arms forward and down. Right hand to the inside of the left foot. Float the left arm up high, gazing upwards. Curl underneath your back toes and lift the knee up and away, feeling length in the body, a long spine, long neck. Settling that back knee down to the mat once again. Now charging up some energy here. Push down through your left foot. Lift your torso. Set your gaze to your back hand. Wide through the shoulder blades, wide collarbone. Sweeping up and over, left hand reaches high. Cartwheeling forward and down, hands bridge the front foot. Lift away your right knee. Step your left leg back to match your right high plank. Hips level, body straight. Rock forward slightly on your toes, lower chest. Flatten the tops of the feet, peel the ribcage forward, shine your heart. Curl underneath your toes, hips high, heels low. Walk the mounds of the big toes back together again. And we inhale as we sweep, right leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Bending that knee, yawning through your hips. Beginning to circle small circles or large circles. Lengthening, extending that leg, three-legged dog. 
right foot sweeps through to the inside of your hands, near the ankle, bridge to your fingertips, before we sweep the hands up and overhead, palms sitting together, pointing out through the first two fingers, inhale as you straighten the legs, exhale as you lower. This time drawing down and hovering and adding in that slight little pulse. Hover once again. Sit the knee to the mat. Drawing in a back bend. Keep your head to the inside of your arms to protect your neck. Left hand sits to the inside of the right foot directly under the shoulder line. Right hand reaches to the sky, aiming to stack shoulders. Curl underneath the toes, lift away that grounded knee. Stack your shoulders, long spine, long neck. Set down your knee, knee. Charge up energy as you push the earth away. Gaze to your back hand. Sweeping up and over, left arm reaches high, right hand sits to the back of your leg, cartwheeling forward and down. Peel away your knee, right foot steps back to match the left, high plank, rock forward on your toes, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Moving now into dolphin pose. We're going to walk ourselves down onto the forearms, interlacing the fingers. Allow the head to fall in between your biceps. Hold and breathe. Lift your gaze forward. Walk back up onto your palms, downward facing dog. We'll repeat that once more. So at this point here, we can feel the space and elongation in our spine. One by one, walk back down onto your forearms. The head bows in between your arms. Long legs, long spine. Gaze comes forward and we walk back up onto our palms. Setting our knees directly to the mat, crossing the ankles over behind you. Walk yourself back to your seated position. Lengthen the right leg long, heel down, foot is flexed. Draw your left heel in towards your buttock muscle, tall spine. Inhale as you reach up with your right arm. Right arm sets to the outside of your left knee. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale as we twist. Your lengthened leg, keep that anchor down into the mat. Our yoga poses all have a starting and anchor point and we really move the bones and muscles of our body away from that point. Bring yourself back forward and step the left leg over the right, tuck your right leg underneath, even weight through the sit bones, tall spine, inhale reach up high with your right arm, exhale as you twist, inhale as you sit tall, exhale as you twist, twist deeper. Bringing in a derotation to our twists, just for a moment to the opposite side. Bring ourselves back to the centre, lengthen left leg long, heel down, foot is flexed, right leg hugs in towards the chest, tall spine. Inhale as we reach with the left arm, exhale as we cross over. Imagine I've placed my thumb directly in between your shoulder blades and I'm just applying a little bit of pressure there. And it's going to set your collarbone slightly wider. 
coming back to the center cross right leg over left tuck underneath your left leg even weight in the sit bones inhale left arm high exhale as we twist inhale as we sit tall exhale as we twist deeper moments left of our class and I'd just like to really thank you for practicing with me today coming back to having one foot flat in front of the other on the mat walk the fingertips forward and out keep your sit bones drawing down and towards your mat bend in the elbows allow your head to bow forward and down just for now without asking how, allow yourself to settle into stillness, breathe in, breathe out, just for now, let go of any weight that may have settled on your shoulders, breathe in, breathe out, feel the element of the earth below, grounding, stable and safe, breathe in, breathe out. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today.